Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here, and welcome back to more of the Yoshi's New Island playthrough. And, well, guess what guys, we're on the final stretch of the game. Um, at the end of this week we'll have literally every level recorded, so let's go ahead and uh, get this started with more of World 6. Uh, so next up we have World 6-5. Hotfoot Hurdle, and, uh, well, uh, the original Yoshi's Island and even Yoshi's Island DS, they had a very brutal 6-5. It was an auto-scroller in a cave, and, uh, yeah, let's just say the purple Yoshi didn't have exactly the best time, um, in those playthroughs in this world. Let's see how Hotfoot Hurdle does as far as uh, auto scrolling caves are concerned. And we are in a cave, and as we'll see, yep, we got auto scrolling. They did it again. As far as what I remember, I don't think this cave is as bad as the uh, previous two uh, World 6 cave levels are concerned, but, you know, I wouldn't say they're, you know, I wouldn't say this level's easy by any stretch. There's definitely a lot of parts to it, and uh, it's a pretty lengthy level too, but um, I honestly don't feel like this is as bad, just in my own personal opinion. There we go. Jump down here. Grab that. I don't think there's anything else. Gotta watch out for the falling stalactites as well. I think one thing that does kind of mitigate this a bit is, even though it is an annoyance to play the level again, uh, the fact you don't have to worry about, you know, getting all the collectibles in one run, um, you know, does lighten the stress load a little bit, at the very least. So that definitely helps. <laughs> but with uh, that being said, you know, it is an auto-scroller. These levels are usually pretty lengthy as a result of that. So yeah, just have to be a little, uh, little careful about how you progress here. Uh, so in this little chamber, we will get uh, some collectibles that you would miss out on if you went the other path. So you definitely have to go the down right, uh, down path first. Uh, here, make sure you do this properly. Make sure you do all of those specific things. Because if you don't, you'll probably end up missing out on something. And nobody wants that. Okay. I think we're doing pretty good so far. Alright, this part of the level. Uh, we do have rising lava. And we do have uh, bridges that kind of rotate. We do gotta go down here. And the lava does rubber band, by the way. If you couldn't tell from that little uh, glimpse right there. The lava does rubber band. <laughs> In fact, I believe... Is it no longer advancing? No. Okay. I guess it just increases to that certain point right there. Then it stops. Okay. Now, the good thing about an auto-scroll level is they are pretty short. Like, I mean, well, I mean... They're long in the sense that you have to do a lot of waiting around, but they don't really go out of their way to make the levels massive, which was, I think, the major problem with, like, the very first, uh, 6-5. That's just me. I 
Okay, right here. Um, I don't think those were anything. I believe right here is a flower. So make sure you grab that before you make any more progress. Make sure you get eggs right here. We just need two more red coins and a flower, which I believe we're good to go on. We're good. Okay. I am so happy I did that all in one run. <laughs> I mean, it helped that I was prepared. If anything, shout out to Practice Files for being the best when it comes to that kind of thing. But, uh, yeah. Uh, that can be a very, very brutal level if you're not careful. There we go, hot foot hurdle. We hurdled the hot foot or something. I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm talking about. So let's go ahead and move on to the next level, which is called Pyro Guy Peak. Which Pyro guys were in the original Yoshi's Island. They're the uh, shy guys that are quite literally on fire. Um, you can't actually uh, eat them in this game, though. But they do stop after a while, and you can egg them to get rid of them. That's the preferred way to remove them from the field of battle. But, uh, yeah, you can't actually eat them this time, which is interesting. Let's go ahead and get some more eggs. eggs. Mmm, flower. Uh, this jump right here can be a little tricky. Like, you have to be, like, quite literally at the height of your jump when that platform goes by. So, make sure you do that. Okay, I didn't think there was anything right there, but I wanted to be sure. Um, I'm gonna just do this. Get rid of you. I think we're where we need to be. Now, right here, uh, there's actually nothing behind here. Uh, except just some regular coins. And I think there's also some, like, I think there's some 1-up, actually. Yeah, I'll go ahead and check it. Uh, there is nothing here, but keep this in mind in the interest of symmetry. <laughs> I'll just say that much. Let's just say there's some easily missable items if you uh, don't remember that. From what I remember, I think you need 11 coins before you leave this room. Something to that effect, anyway. Really? I disagree. Now, I, I end up destroying all of these just because I like to make sure. Sometimes there's no coins in these. Other times there are coins, but they're not red coins. It's very random with how they hide collectibles in this section. So that's why I'm just trying to be as thorough as possible. I'm going to go ahead and grab some eggs. Just in the interest of getting rid of these blocks. Okay, nothing there, nothing there. Nothing there. This is like the last section of this room from what I remember. I think that we do have another like middle ring though, so I think we're still good. 
the very least, another place where we can get stars anyway. Flower. Yes, phone, you are being loud, as a matter of fact. Okay, maybe it's actually only nine uh, red coins we need. I'm pretty sure we haven't missed anything yet. Also, I don't... One, I don't get how I missed eating that uh, bullet bill, but... Thankfully, it also didn't hit me for whatever reason, too, so I can't complain too much. Okay, I think we got everything, so I think we're good to continue. Yeah, it was either 11 or 9. I don't remember the exact number. I remember I just had trouble figuring out how much I needed for the next section, so I was convinced I missed something in my practice file, but in reality, um, I didn't, so... Uh, but, you know how I mentioned earlier about the interest of symmetry? Well, there are blocks back here, and sure enough... Not only are two red coins back here, but I think this is also a place where you can get some stars, too. So, yeah. Make sure you... Oh, damn. Let's try that again. Well, let's try that again! Okay, there we go. Boom. Boom. This is oh, just a one up. Oh shit! Really? Bull crap. <laughs> I disagree with that. Okay, so uh, this room right here, there's obviously a flower we have to make our way around to, and there's actually two ways you can get this flower. You can um, just go up there manually and use eggs to get rid of the blue spiky things. Or you can uh, navigate this chomp rock through the room. Now, the chomp rock, you, you'd think that this would be, like, annoying to do. Like, you'd have to, like, time it to get on the platforms. Uh, but the platforms are actually solid. Uh, which means if you try to push the rock against the platforms, like, uh, they won't, like, go through the platforms or do anything like that. So, you can actually, like, it's actually safer to push these on the platforms than you'd think it would be. You just don't want to push it too far. But, um, yeah, we're going to do this the... Kind of the... I don't want to say the more obnoxious way, the longer way, for sure. Like I said, you, you can just... Um, egg the blue crystal spike things. In fact, I'm sure that some people would probably... I'm sure speedrunners would probably do that, because that's just legitimately faster. Okay. So all we need is... Uh, we need a star, and we need uh, one red coin, which... I'm sure the red coin is beyond this pipe. And the star we can easily get, because there's a shy guy right here, and I have... Well, I messed that up. Never mind. Um... Well, hold on. I can also do this. Just gotta do this. Wait for him to jump. Then jump over. Of course, now I don't have any eggs, and I do kind of need eggs for this next part. So even though I am risking myself doing this, I am going to go ahead and get some eggs. Oh, I can also just do that. <laughs> Look at me making things harder for myself. Uh, so yeah, this is the last red coin. There we go, and there we go. Yeah, nice batch of levels for today. Um, these were both levels I had to uh, do twice in my um, practice file, but here I only had to do them once. Which again, practice makes perfect, so definitely do practice, even if it's for a game like this. <laughs> so I was more than prepared for the 
hidden secrets of this level. But uh, that's going to do it for this video, guys. And next video, we're going to be having kind of a long video. Because not only are we doing 6-7, but we're also doing 6-8, the final level of the game. So yeah, um, we'll technically see the ending of this game tomorrow. And then after that, on Friday, we'll have the secret levels of both World 5 and World 6. And let me tell you right now, both of those levels are doozies. So... Yeah, get ready for that. But yeah, this has been Slim Kirby. This has been Yoshi's New Island. I'll see you guys next time for the finale of World 6 and the main part of the game. Later, folks.